Many things are special about the Clark Fork River Delta. First, its location on the flyway for migrating waterfowl and songbirds, as well as um, it's nestled between two uh, mountain ranges, so it allows connectivity from lowlands to highlands. 80% of all the water that goes into Lake Pend comes from the Clark Fork. It's a special place also for people besides fish and wildlife. That is the place where the Kalispell believe they were born from the water to the animal people that eventually became Kalispell. So when they constructed Albany Falls Dam, uh, the federal government had a responsibility to mitigate for the impacts uh, to the inundated lands. There's several components that are contributing to the the loss of the delta. One is that the dams upstream prevent the river from depositing more sediment, which allows islands to be maintained, if nothing else, but at least in an ideal situation, they grow and get larger as that sediment is deposited. And then the way that the water levels are managed, when they bring the water levels down, the wave action from the lake and the river action ends up letting the banks of these islands drop off and fall into the river. I felt compelled to look to the Delta for a restoration project when I stood in front of it the first time and looked out over those vast mud flats and I saw hundreds of acres that if we could just raise it above the full water pool, we would be able to create wetland areas exactly where wetland areas used to exist. Animals and the migrating songbirds and, and waterfowl they go to the Clark Fork Delta. That's their program to, to go there. They're not programmed to go 100 um, miles to the west where we might have another mitigation parcel for them. This is where they go. Not only that though, I listen to the community and the community feels very strongly about the Clark Fork Delta. It's a special place to them. And you don't really notice it until you go to your favorite, you know, duck hunting spot or bird wildlife viewing spot and it's no longer there. You know, this is a perfect time and environment with fish and game leading the way to get out there and protect what's remaining of the delta and restore parts of it that we can. It took a while to uh, figure out the funding, to find the funding and work on an agreement on the funding and then you get into legal uh, the legal document itself, it took about a year and a half to, from start to finish as far as my involvement was concerned. Clark Fork Settlement Agreement was developed as part of our relicensing process and, and the collaborative process where we worked with all the interested stakeholders. And it addresses everything from fish and wildlife, habitat, to water quality, recreation, land management, cultural resources. Our main goal is to stabilize and protect what is existing and then rebuilding some of these sections of the Delta. Well, I think the long-term benefits to everyone in general is that we will continue to have a Delta where you can recreate, where wildlife and fish will be successful and also a VISTA and Bonneville Power Administration will meet their mitigation responsibilities. So I think it's a win-win for everyone actually.